Now what you're looking at is what I would call the stage end of the breezeway. As you can see, the, the console of the organ has been disconnected and moved out of the way. It's, it's on a rolling platform, but what we built there is, a, is actually a stage floor. It'll eventually be covered in hardwood and the console will be placed pretty much near this end of the stage and in the center. Uh, as you can see, the insulation is all in. In fact, the insulation's in the entire breezeway. I've uh, got all the insulation in. It's about ready to be part of it to be drywalled. I'm going to do this in two um, steps. I'm going to complete this end as much as I can and replace the console so that the organ can be played again. And then uh, when the other half, the half that I'm standing in right now, which we'll call the north half, is done, I'll just uh, put up a wall of plastic to separate it off for all the uh, drywalling and sanding and, and so forth that goes on with that. Now we're looking up at these wires that are hanging out of the wall. This is uh, the west end or the west wall of uh, the stage area as we'll call it because it's becoming a stage. This is going to eventually connect up to a, uh, uh, through an arch, uh, uh, it'll, the arch will extend from the wall maybe two inches to define it. There will be a, a, a proscenium arch going straight across above. And I have a wonderful Tiffany style uh, wall fixture that's going to go where those wires are. And it will, uh, when it's done, it will definitely give uh, this end of the, the breezeway, the stage end, a look of being a uh, small stage. This will be the, the world's smallest uh, silent movie house, I think, in the, in, anywhere in the world. Here is a close-up of the swell shades where the organ speaks from. I have a grill that goes over this, but uh, there's a prospect of a different grill that might be more suitable. I'm not quite sure which one we'll use. It all depends on how the uh, the other grill measures out and how it'll fit in. In order to, for me to put the original grill that I had over these uh, swell shades in, I have to wall down a few inches from the top and up a few inches from the bottom because the grill is smaller than that opening. The grill goes with those swell shades. It originally came from a molar artiste that had been uh, junked and uh, this uh, this opening, I kind of dressed it up. It was kind of just cut, butchered into the wall originally with a sawzall. But uh, I'm sort of improving that. I didn't do the sawzall work. Uh, a contractor uh, person I knew did that just so I could put the grill up. And the original grill was just sort of nailed to the wall, but it's going to be screwed into place this time. It'll be a much better installation when I'm done. Here you see the north end of the breezeway. There's the console covered up and sitting on its rolling platform and my helper is just coming into the room right now. Uh, he's been immense help in this project. Um, the floor, the concrete floor will be covered in uh, a terracotta style ceramic tile. And uh, I'm really excited about how that will look when this is completed. There will be wainscoting on these walls. And the, uh, there will be four wall sconces, Tiffany-style sconces. And the, uh, the wallboard above the wainscoting will be um, sort of a textured plaster look. Now I rewired the entire breezeway. It's got all new wiring in it, all ready to go. The, uh, all of the final hookups will be done after the drywalling has been done. I rerouted uh, the power that fed this uh, room f properly from the breaker box that I installed a few years ago. The original way they powered it, and of course with the original wiring, was just bad all the way around. I, uh, I have three circuits coming out to the breezeway, a 20 amp uh, for the window outlets for a future either an electric heater in the wintertime or air conditioning in the summer. 
and uh, the other 15 amp circuit runs the lights and then I also ran a uh, 230 volt circuit that runs a big air conditioner I have in the kitchen but uh, it's all been rewired here's an item of interest this is one of four uh, light fixtures I installed over uh, these lights fixtures hangs a very interesting looking Tiffany uh, style glass shade now the original fixtures that came with the shades that I bought were crappy that's the best I can describe it but I came up with this idea now the bulb fixture this is only a 40 watt bulb and that's probably all that's going to be needed and this fixture is somewhat recessed behind where the wall board the actual uh, drywall will go the reason for that is by, by the time the shade does hang on this area this bulb will be right dead center in the middle of the sconce uh, shade which I think will illuminate it far better than what they sent me with the shades that I bought the uh, light fixtures that they sent the best way I could describe it uh, is just junk uh, crap this I think will be far superior to uh, um, what they sent Th these four lights will be on dimmer a dimmer and like I say, the bulb is only 40 watts, so there's really no danger of any high heat here or anything like it. Uh, it's never going to heat up to where you'd be concerned about it. If you put 100 watt bulbs in, then you might be thinking that could be a problem. But these bulbs are only 40 watts. And again, you're looking at the stage end. This is going to be a, a, a micro, micro silent movie theater, actually, when I'm done. At least that's my plan. I plan to call it the Music Box Theater because it's actually a shoe box. It's pretty small. Uh, it'd be the smallest theater that has a theater pipe organ in it. How it will function will be pretty clever. I'll have a video on that eventually. But uh, you can see my assistant uh, just relaxing on the stage there. Uh, like I say, he's, his help has been invaluable. That's it for this phase.